Welcome to Tripedia. Barcelona is a stunning seaside city that flaunts her beauty and sunny lifestyle. Gorgeous scenery, breathtaking architecture, and superb cultural attractions make for an alluring destination. Barcelona is the best place to simply relax and soak up the city's joyous vibe. One of the best ways to discover Barcelona is by wandering aimlessly and stumbling upon hidden side streets with small cafes, or stopping to relax at peaceful town squares, where street musicians strum melodies on Spanish guitars. The delightful surprises abound at every turn. So this is 10 best place in Barcelona you have to visit. Basilica de la Sagrada Familia. The Basilica de la Sagrada Familia stands in the northern part of the city, dominating its surroundings with its 18 spindly towers soaring high above all the other buildings. Visitors are first struck by the lavish exterior with its expressive nativity facade depicting the birth of Jesus and the evocative passion facade that illustrates the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Even though the basilica is unfinished, tourists may visit the interior to admire the awe-inspiring sacred space and its dazzling artworks. The main nave of the sanctuary is an immense space of 90 meters long by 60 meters high. The ceiling sparkles with opulent decorative details, and colorful stained glass windows allow ethereal light to flow in. Bari Gothic, Gothic Quarter. For 2,000 years, the Gothic Quarter has been the spiritual and secular center of the city. Relics of ancient Roman buildings are still found here, but the Middle Ages are best represented by the historic monuments packed into this quarter. Mainly built between the 13th and 15th centuries, the Cathedral de la Santa Cruz y Santa Eulalia is the heart of the Gothic Quarter. Surrounding the cathedral is a maze of cobblestone streets and alleyways. Tourists will enjoy wandering the narrow pedestrian lanes and stopping to discover the neighborhood's quaint boutiques and restaurants. By getting lost here, visitors become immersed in the magical ambience of a traffic-free medieval world. Picturesque squares are enlivened by the sounds of people chatting and laughing or the strumming of Spanish classical guitar. Children often play a pickup game of soccer in the Gothic Quarter's hidden corners and local residents socialize at the sidewalk terraces of cafes that are tucked away in courtyards. Camp New Spotify, Camp New. Just as Catalan modernist buildings are must-see attractions for architecture fans, Camp New is a must-see for football, soccer fans. Camp New was one of the venues for the 1992 Summer Olympics in Barcelona and today is home of the FC Barcelona team. The 99, 354-seat stadium is the largest in Europe and second largest in the world. Camp New offers guided tours led by bilingual official FC Barcelona guides. The tours, in English and Spanish, cover highlights of the stadium such as the playing field, the team's changing room, player's tunnel, and the commentator's boxes. Guided tours also include a visit to the Barca Museum. The Barca Museum presents trophies, photos, and multimedia exhibits, including videos of the FC Barcelona's winning goals. The Barca Café at Camp Nou is a fun place to watch live and recorded games on big screen televisions. The chefs work in an open kitchen where guests can watch the action preparing traditional Catalan dishes such as grilled meat and fish cooked on a wood-fired oven, as well as some of the FC Barcelona players' favorite tapas. La Rambla, Barcelona's social hub. The heart of Barcelona's social life is found on La Rambla, a wide tree-shaded avenue that divides the old town into two parts. La Rambla stretches from the Placa de Catalunya where the beautiful Romanesque 12th century convent of Santa Ana stands all the way down to the port. This street features expansive pedestrian sidewalks lined with shops, restaurants, and outdoor cafes, making it one of the most popular hangouts in the city. During the day, many locals are found here doing their everyday shopping at the Mercat de la Boqueria. At night, groups of friends and families take their evening paseo, stroll, on La Rambla to enjoy the fresh air and lively ambiance. On some days, onlookers might be treated to live music, a mime show, or other impromptu street performances. 
Palace of Catalan Music. Built between 1905 and 1908 as a concert hall for the Choral Society, Orfeo Catala, the Palau de la Musica Catalana was designed by the architect Luis Domenech y Montaner in the Catalan modernist style. The interior decor is just as colorful and fanciful within the concert auditorium. Adorned with Art Nouveau floral patterns and fruit motifs, this enchanting auditorium provides a marvelous setting for musical performances. Cathedral de la Santa Cruz y Santa Eulalia. At the center of the Gothic quarter on the Monte Tabor is the Cathedral de la Santa Cruz y Santa Eulalia, Cathedral of the Holy Cross and Saint Eulalia. This medieval cathedral is a masterpiece of Catalan Gothic architecture with an ornately sculpted facade. The sanctuary contains magnificent works of art, including the altarpiece of the Transfiguration by Bernat Martorell, as well as other medieval altarpieces and a remarkable gilded jewel-encrusted monstrance. The cathedral also has an exquisite Gothic choir and keystones that date to the 14th and 15th centuries. Surprising many visitors, the cathedral's cloister and garden shelter 13 live geese that symbolize the martyrdom of St. Eulalia. The cloister's pond provides habitat for the geese. The cathedral museum displays a collection of medieval paintings. The painting of La Pieta by Bartolome Bermejo is particularly noteworthy. Museo Picasso de Barcelona. Inaugurated in 1963, the Picasso Museum occupies five medieval palaces in the Gothic Quarter on the Calle de Moncada, named after an important local family of the 12th century. The Calle de Moncada is listed as a Conjunto Monumental Historico Artistico, Historic Artistic Monument, and the five palaces are remarkable Catalan Gothic landmarks dating to the 13th and 14th centuries. The architecture of each building features a central patio and a grand exterior staircase. Magic Fountain of Montjuic. The list of things to do in Barcelona at night is watching the Magic Fountain of Montjuic near the Placa d'Espana in the Montjuic neighborhood. The large Art Deco fountain was designed by Carles Buigas for the 1929 International Exhibition, which took place in Montjuic. The magic fountain of Montjuï delights all ages with its choreographed light and fountain shows that are set to music. The shows take place Thursday through Sunday during the summer and Friday and Saturday in the off-season. The evening shows last for a few hours with music sessions every half hour. Real Monestir de Santa Maria de Pedralbes. A wonderful example of Catalan Gothic architecture the Real Monastir de Santa Maria de Pedralbes is nestled on the gentle slopes of the Saint Père Martyr hillside in the outskirts of Barcelona. Queen Elisenda de Montcada founded the convent in 1327 for the Order of Saint Clair. The monastery has two places of worship, a 14th century Catalan Gothic church and a small chapel, Saint Michael's Chapel, decorated with magnificent murals. Dating to the early 14th century, the murals were created by Ferrer Bassa in the Italianate Trecento style. Parc del Labyrinth, nestled behind the Colserola Ridge in the Horta Guinardo district, this 55-acre park dates to 1792 and is the oldest landscaped green space in Barcelona. The park blends formal gardens with a romantic garden that includes a waterfall and woodland. Taking a stroll through the Parc del Labyrinth, leads to discoveries of small squares, vibrant flower beds, neoclassical sculptures of mythological characters, and a labyrinth. Another treasure found within the park is the Torre Soberana, a 14th century manor house restored in the 19th century in Moorish style. Thank you for joining us on our travels around the world with Tripedia. We hope that our videos have given you a glimpse into the incredible diversity and beauty of our planet. We believe that travel is not just about ticking off destinations on a bucket list, but about immersing yourself in new cultures, meeting new people, and creating unforgettable memories. As you continue your own journey, we encourage you to explore with an open heart and an open mind. Whether you're traveling solo with friends or with family, every trip is a chance to learn, grow, and connect with the world around you. 
Thank you for being a part of the Tripedia community, and we look forward to continuing to share our adventures with you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel inspiration and tips. Until next time, safe travels.